What's up guys, welcome to the video, and today we are going to be talking about fat loss supplements. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Today I wanted to make a video talking about kind of the supplements that I take, some that I take year round, and then some that are kind of more focused towards when I'm in the fat loss phase kind of idea. So first up we are going to start with the proteins. So first up here we have the two proteins and these I also use year round. You can always use proteins, they're super good. So. First one we have here, this is OxyWay. So this is a blended protein. So it's got like kind of different blends of protein in it. So it's a little bit slower digesting. It's not gonna be as quickly absorbed by your body. So it's gonna keep you more full for longer, but really good to use. You can use it post-workout if you want. It's just not gonna digest as fast, but OxyWay is really good. I use it for cooking mostly. So, you know, like protein French toast, protein pancakes, protein oats, protein everything basically. It works really good and Sometimes getting, you know, 190, 200 grams of protein in, in a day through, you know, chicken, beef, whatnot, it's gonna get a little uh, tough to do that. So having a good quality protein powder is really gonna help you out. Next, the other protein powder that we have, this one is Isopep. So this is a hydrolyzed whey protein isolate. And basically what that means is this is just the fastest absorbing version of protein that you can get. So this is generally what you're gonna to wanna to have post-workout in order to get the fastest digesting proteins that you can while your body is most susceptible to the nutrients. So having a good weight isolate is also a really good thing to have whether you're you know, in a muscle building phase or a fat loss phase. So next up we have fat burner powders. So these are the main fat burner powders that I use. This is Oxy Shred and there is you know, three different types of Oxy Shred. So there is the normal Oxy Shred, which is a thermogenic fat burning powder. And this is the one that I use every morning for fasted cardio. So it's got 150 milligrams of caffeine per scoop in it. So sometimes I'll take one, one and a half in the morning, depending on how I'm feeling. And this is what's gonna get your out of bed and down to do cardio. So this works really well for that. Gets a good sweat going. You feel great. Gives you some mood enhancement, so it makes you feel better. Then there is Oxy Shred Hardcore. So this is more kind of a pre-workout based Oxy Shred. So it's still a fat burner. You can still use it for fasted cardio if you want. The difference is this one has more stimulants and 250 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. So you're only gonna wanna have like one scoop of this, but it is really good for your workouts as well because it gives you that hit of caffeine and it's gonna make you sweat a ton, like you're gonna drip if you take this. And then finally, there is non-stim Oxy Shred. So this one has no stimulants in it, no caffeine, and this is what I will sometimes take before bed just as a nighttime fat burner because no stimulants in it, it's not gonna keep you up, but you're still gonna get the fat burning effects from it. Next up, we got the pills that I take during my fat loss phase. So these ones I mainly take during a fat loss phase because they have their purposes. First of all, this one is called Skin Tight, and this is a marine collagen skin tightening agent. So I used to be quite heavy, you know, 250 pounds. I'm sitting now at like 163. So when you drop that much weight, you're bound to have some, you know, loose skin in your arms and your midsection kind of whatnot. So this really helps with tightening that up. And since using this, I've really noticed the loose skin tighten quite a bit. It's not gonna, you know, minimize it to where there's no loose skin whatsoever if you were overweight, but it does really help with tightening you up. So that one works really well. But next up, this is H2 Drop. So it's an anti-bloating diuretic. If you're in a fat loss phase or just, you know, anytime, drinking lots of water. I drink anywhere between four to six liters of water in a day. This is gonna help you to not get all bloated from the water and the food that you're intaking. And it's also gonna help you drop that unnecessary water weight, especially during a fat loss phase, because you don't want all that water weight because it blurs muscle definition and you're just not gonna look as good as if you were you know, not holding on to that water. So another really good one to add into the morning supplement stack. We have just a standard multivitamin. Whether you are a bodybuilder, power lifter, whether you're into sports exercise or not, everyone should have a multivitamin 
in their day because lots of people's diets are lacking in the essential nutrients that you need, so you know, vitamins, minerals from fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, things like that. So having a multivitamin in your daily routine is just going to help ensure that you are hitting all of those required nutrient profiles that you need for the day. So always keep a vitamin in. I keep this in year round. You know, there's no reason to cycle off of it. It's perfectly fine and perfectly safe to have a multivitamin all year round. And the last pill that I take, this is called OxyRem, so it is a deep sleep fat burner. So, especially when you're on low calories during a fat loss phase, your sleep quality is gonna go down. There's no way around it. You're just, you're gonna start to have sleep. So, and I don't sleep great as it is, so having a burning agent that is also a sleep aid is really good. This has about five milligrams of melatonin in it, as well as some other ingredients to help with sleep process. Last but not least, we kind of have the miscellaneous supplements. Some I use quite often, some I don't use quite as much, and that includes BCA. So, BCAs, I actually haven't been taking that often. I've decided that I don't think they're as quite as important as everyone thinks. Everyone thinks if they drink, you know, two scoops of BCAs during the day, that it's gonna maintain all of their muscle mass that they have during a dieting phase. Regardless of if you're on lower calories or not, if you're on low calories, you're gonna lose a little bit of muscle mass. That's just gonna happen. But drinking, pounding, you know, a tub of BCAs a day is not going to help you hold on to that muscle. So during this dieting phase, I've probably had BCAs three, maybe four times, and I still held on to a good amount of muscle considering that I haven't been taking these. So they are good when it comes to recovery, but if you have a diet that is high in you know vitamins, minerals, nutrients, the quality proteins, you're gonna get your amino acids from those foods. So this is just kind of making sure you get that in if you have a diet, but I mean, shitty diet with supplementation is still a diet. So you can throw them in there if you want. I just don't really know if they're, they're worth it for me. Next up, we have acetyl L-carnitine. So I'm sure you've heard of L-carnitine and it is a, it's a fat metabolizing agent. So it's not a fat burning agent, but it kind of just helps shuttle the fat loss. The difference is with acetyl L-carnitine, is the acetyl part, it provides more focus than just regular carnitine. So this is really good to throw in with your pre-workout stack, gives you a little bit of focus, has a little bit of fat metabolizing properties. Uh, so it's just good to kind of keep in there. You only need like one to two grams, so that's why it's just a little itty bitty container, but I like to keep that in there if you can find it. Regular carnitine works good, but it's just not gonna give you the focus addition as acetyl. Carnitine monohydrate. So, Creatine is really good for muscle building. If you want to talk about holding on to muscle mass and maintaining muscle mass, creatine is going to be your best way to go. And everyone freaks out because with creatine, you do hold on to some water retention, but as long as you're not having, you know, 10, 15 grams of creatine a day and just having the standard five grams of creatine, then you're not gonna hold on to that much water as if you were creatine loading. So just having, you know, five grams a day of creatine is really gonna help maintain lean muscle mass and keep your strength up. So that's something that's really good to keep in there. And besides, creatine monohydrate is just, it's so cheap. So like 100 servings is like 20 bucks, so. Uh, next we have kind of the pre-workout. So first of all, we have PSI. This is a non-stimulant pump agent. So sometimes I'll mix this with one of the oxy shreds, either the normal or the hardcore, and then you still get that little bit of caffeine, but not the stimulants that are gonna make you wanna itch your face off. I don't like that. So having this, you still get the pump addition to it, and when you're on low calories, your glycogen is depleted. You're not gonna have as many carbs in the system. So trying to get a decent pump uh, is sometimes difficult. So having one of these, a nitric oxide enhancer, it's going to really help with you know getting a solid pump and feeling that muscle contraction so that's really good i keep that in there all the time pretty much and then if you're feeling like you know hard leg there something coming on we also have rp max this is a high stimulant pre-workout so this has about 300 milligrams of caffeine per scoop plus kind of the stimulants you know the beta alanine the stuff that's going to give you a little bit of tingles if you have too much of it but otherwise, as long as you dose it properly, you'll be okay. The important thing with pre-workout supplements, especially, you know, high stimulant supplements, 
is you're gonna want to cycle off of them. So I've been having lots of caffeine this entire cut because I've been going for 10 weeks and just, you know, the energy's down, you need some caffeine to get you through. But once I'm done this dieting phase, I'm gonna take, you know, two, three weeks off of caffeine just to resensitize my body to it. Because if you're taking pre-workout every day, you know, 300 milligrams of caffeine every day, it's not gonna hit you as hard as it would as if you were to, you know, cycle off it. So like, finish a tub, cycle off for two weeks, and then once you get back on it, it's gonna have that effect and it's gonna really fire you up again. Whereas if you have it every day, your body's just gonna get used to it. It's not gonna have as many benefits. All right guys, so that is going to do it for this video on supplements, fat loss supplements, kind of the whole deal there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. I will make sure to link all of these supplements in the description below. So if you guys want to go check those out. But uh, yeah, with that out of the way, I'll see you soon.